Why is my tax refund so low in 2023? So I am your master guide to personal finance and how to get your business up and running, ultimately make you a millionaire. So let's talk about why is your tax refund so low? And I can tell you that millionaires don't really pay attention to a tax refund. We actually hold all of our money and we pay in September of the year after and personally in October. Companies file taxes in September and individually in October. So those of you who are April 15th filers, you're not even beginning the game right. So let's just start with that. Now there's three things I wanna talk about and help correct in your behavior. So you actually don't have to pay the money. You can keep most of your money and then you're not looking for a refund. See the entire your process of what you're looking for is the wrong question. I always say you're going to get the wrong answer when you ask the wrong question and this one's a wrong question. You don't want a low return. You don't want a return. You want to hold all your money for 10 months and then pay at the end. So let's talk about how that works. You want to understand the factors, number one, that actually affect your tax refund or your tax return. Number two, effective strategies to not only maximize your refund, but keep your money for the next 10 months where you can actually use your money and have your money make money. And then number three, the common mistakes that lead to to no or little refund for those of you who are April 15th filers. So if you're out there and say, well, I, I'm an April 15th filer the whole time, and yes, I'm speaking in United States of vernacular. So those of you that are in other parts of the world, you have the same principles, same strategies, just less of them. In the United States, we have four corporate structures, we have trust structures, and we have 81,000 pages of tax code. Big difference than in other countries who sometimes only have two corporate structures, one trust structure, and 3,400 pages of code. So the first thing to realize is that tax is not this big scary, you know, tentacle of an animal that most of the media and just people say, oh, leave it to the experts. Because you know what, if you leave it to the experts, how many of you have left it to the expert? And your CPA or your accountant, whatever you want to call them, has said, you don't make enough money to be incorporated. So I don't think getting incorporated has anything to do with income. It has 100% to do with your intention. Do you want to be wealthy or not? Because if you don't live in corporate life where you can make money as a business, take legal deductions, you don't even get to begin this because your tax code is you make money as a job, they take the tax out as a government for you, and then you get to live on what's left. So you get to decide how you wanna live. Now, I'm not saying if you're an employee, go out and quit your job. I am saying though, you need to get a company, some sort of side hustle, let's just make it a hustle, where you're gonna make an extra couple thousand to 10,000, 15, 20,000 a month, and you could quit your job if you so choose. But you can't activate any refund, any tax code, unless you play corporate structure. If it's just you as an employee, you're not gonna get a lot. The only thing you can really adjust is maybe your exemptions and the way that you might take money out in your 401k. That's all you get to do. And if you're a sole proprietor, you get a Schedule C. That's like 20 to 30 little deductions. So why even do any of that? You're 18 years old or older, get a company. And if you don't know how to do that, click on our strategy link below, grab our strategy session, talk to our team about how you can start living corporate life. They know exactly what to talk to you about, what questions to ask, and how to get you interested in it. If you're saying, well, I don't even know what I would do, go grab my cash machine book. You can grab it on Amazon, grab it on our website, and my cash machine book will start teaching you and taking you through a skill set analyzer. You start looking, what could you do to activate this tax code? So to understand the tax strategy a little more and how you can affect your refund, Here's a few things. The biggest thing outside of the 81,000 pages of code is what is your CPA doing? Because typically they won't do a lot of deductions. In fact, just this last few months, I've gotten you know, doctors, lawyers, just you know, high paid business owners and their accountant, for whatever reason, won't let them write off their animals. Depending on your animal, it could be a home security, you can do guns, you can do your athletic equipment if it's part of your officer and director benefit package. Again, a section of the tax code a lot of people don't even look at. You can activate research and development. Let's just say you're listening to this video right now. We're at the end of 2023 and you're thinking, well, how could I write off this whole year? Or during our strategy session, we're going to talk to you about living corporate life, getting a company, and you can go all the way back to January 1st and actually move through all those deductions through all of 2023. You can hire your children to work for the company. There are so many deductions that I'm going to say there's the stock and block casual accountant CPA next door isn't gonna do. Somebody has to be a tax strategist, understand the code. You also could just lean in and go look it up online and see what all the benefits are that you have been missing for this whole time. Number two, how do you effectively really maximize the amount that you're gonna be keeping? 
because again, I'm not going to use the word refund because as an entrepreneur, we aren't really getting refunds. We're keeping as much money in the house, meaning we're living corporate life. And sometimes as you move into hundreds to millions of dollars of revenue in your business, you're going to be activating two, three, four companies to run it. Like you might have an equipment company, you might have an employee company, you might have an intellectual property marketing company, and then an operational company. And all together, they're going to work on behalf of the best deduction strategies. If you don't have a tax strategist, make sure when you talk to our team, you really talk to them about what you want and reduce your taxes. And if you are anyone out there that thinks you are overpaying taxes, go to asklaurel.com and say like 911, I need somebody to have a conversation with me and get out to asklaurel.com. While you're there, also down in the link, I'm going to give you two tickets to my millionaire intensive. It's something we do every three weeks from 10 to 6 p.m. Pacific. And I teach you how to live corporate life for the first two hours. And it really talks about some of the deductions and just this life you could have. And any of you could have it. It has nothing to do with income. It has to do with your intention. And when it comes to that refund or actually keeping all the money. Can you imagine if you, instead of getting a refund, kept all the money and continued to use it, had your money make money until September, October of the year after? So for example, instead of 2023, you're going to file in April of 15th of 2024. You actually, your company's going to file September of 2024. And you personally are going to file in October, which means you've kept your money for that entire nine to 10 months versus worrying about a little return. When people say, oh, I cannot wait till January for a return. I'm thinking, why are you even living like that? You're only getting a return because you over paid the government. That's why you get a return. So if you haven't figured that out, they're taking too much in taxes and they have to refund it back to you. When you couple that with the corporate structure and the tax code, you got game on. Then you're actually going to keep your money and make more money. And the faster you can compound your money, the faster you become a millionaire. Before I go to mistakes, I just want you to subscribe to my channel. Click that notification button. We are here five days a week. And I want you to grab my journal. I want you to start taking notes in my journal. You could give this one to your kids. A holiday season's coming up. Buy a journal for everybody for the holiday. And what are they learning? And what are they going to be doing? And what are you going to be doing? What is your plan as you walk through the end of 2023 into 24 and say, what's going to be different? My goal is to change your pattern with money that you make it you invest it. And when it comes to taxes, we'll get there when it comes to living corporate life. The biggest mistake we see are a lot of you are still using your personal debit card. So that means money's coming right out of your personal bank account versus using a corporate credit card. And a lot of you, you're going to realize you're going to put your personal cards away because you can pretty much write off all but about now, maybe a dozen things when you're truly living fully corporate life that I'm going to teach you. It's a process, not a program. So talk to our team and uh, join me at my Millionaire Intensive. I look forward to helping you. But that pattern of using credit cards to track, number one, you get points, you get better credit. It helps your credit score, it helps your corporate credit score. When you use a debit card, there's zero benefit, zero. It doesn't affect your credit score, it doesn't affect your corporate credit score. All it does is take money out of your personal bank account the minute you need to spend it. So just overlooking what I'm gonna call just household deductions. I mean, so many people and old school CPAs, they won't write off a home office. Are you kidding? I have so many companies, I write off multiple home offices because every company gets one. There are so many strategies that we cannot wait to teach you and put into your life so you and your family can keep more of the money, invest more of the money, become a millionaire faster. So again, if you have any questions about this, go to asklaurel.com. We are there 24-7. Look forward to having a conversation with you because if you can't ask a question, you can't have a conversation. So I'll see you there.